Oliver Winery and Vineyards north of Bloomington is undergoing a $12.6 million expansion to meet growing national demand. Liz DeSantis has more. Despite being outside of typical wine country, this Hoosier business has grown to distribute in 42 states. We sell a lot of wine and have a lot of growth these days in Texas and in Florida and Georgia. So really excited to bring more wines to those areas of the country. The winery is using its expansion to hire more than 20 workers and add to its factory and warehouses. We had um, a 45,000 square foot warehouse and this was half again, 28,000 more square feet for us for case goods storage. The facilities here are producing 200 bottles a minute. That's 5,000 of these cases a day, but the production manager says they're ready to start ramping things up. We're not running multiple shifts. We're not running um, um, five days a week quite yet. Uh, but we're, we're very well prepared to handle quite a, a significant amount of growth, more than double what we are currently. The company has carved an industry niche by catering to younger wine drinkers. New consumers to wine, you know, can often find it intimidating. And we really like to lead with these kind of wines. And we feel like um, that newer, younger consumers, as well as, you know, a broad variety of consumers, the flavors appeal to them. Adam says the winery owes its growth to its innovations, including a newly released sweet rosé called Melon Mint Moscato. Coming this summer behind me, you can see cases of key lime pie, and that's going to be our latest uh, seasonal wine that we bring out. And although the 50-year-old winery is expanding nationwide, the company is still proud of its roots. We've always staked a claim in that part of the wine world. We feel like it fits with our Indiana heritage. For Indiana News Desk, I'm Liz DeSantis. Oliver Winery is the 28th largest in the country and has been ranked one of the top 25 wineries to visit in the U.S.